Recording, yay! Hi everyone. <laughs> uh, Zoom is so fun. All kinds of surprises <laughs> every time we use it. Okay, so I have Michaela on here. We're gonna try to not make this super long, but I asked her to talk because Michaela started. What? When did you start? What month? I started you? in March. In March. So she started this mm -hmm. year, and she's just a rock star, and she's been signing all the people and just doing all the things. And I just love her mindset and her work ethic and all the things. And so I asked her to come talk because I feel like a lot of the times we have people like me that have been in it forever, which is like great, but. I love to hear from people that have been in it less than a year and are killing it. And like to see a different perspective is amazing. Um, so I've asked her a few things. Do you want me to like, be like, blah, 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 blah. Or do you just want to start talking about what I asked you to talk about? <laughs> um, it's totally up to you. I don't care either way. All right. Well, Michaela, we already asked you when you started. That was one of the things. So why did you start? Why did you get started? Okay, I started, um, I didn't really have a huge why, why I started. I came across Lori. I had actually followed her on um, Facebook and her story chats on her, not her Lori Conway page, but her successful stay-at-home mom. Not the successful part, but just the stay-at-home mom. I had, because I was stay-at-home mom, and so I had been following her for about four months, um, and I realized that we were like-minded in faith. And, um, and so I, I really enjoyed her and it took me about four months to realize that she was selling coffee. And so, um, I was like, okay, well, I'll try this coffee. And so I did. And I told her from the beginning, I was like, if I like the coffee, I don't mind selling it. If you will teach me how, and she jumped in and taught me how, like I got, I got the coffee. I think and I signed up like two days after I got the coffee. So um, and then, so I, I did do that. I started, um, with, with her and then I just, you know, if I could just pay for my coffee at the beginning, if that, that's kind of how I presented it to my husband, I was like, can I do this? And he's like, really again, like, cause I had done several things before and I was like, yeah, well, I think this is different cause Lori is Lori. Um, and she's going to be teaching me and I really want to be her friend. And, um, he was like, okay, whatever I go, as long as I can, I can get the coffee free. Does that, is that fine? And he was like, yeah, if you can get the coffee free and it's no nothing, then, you know, that's fine. And so then, but by the end of my second month, I had brought in, I think it was around $1,400. And so when I got to, um, slide those statements over to my husband because I had signed myself but then without telling my husband I had signed my husband underneath me and I worked both of our accounts um and I didn't tell him that I did that which I don't suggest um but I knew that I was having so many people funneled in that I was filling up my areas and then I was like why am I not filling up Tom's areas too and getting paid twice so like I actually um, approached Lori and was like can you even do that and she was like yeah you can do that and so I did I did that and then by the second month I was able to sign, uh, slide the statements over with um, that much money and that was just mine and then his on top of that and so that is when that's when I was like I think I need to start thinking more about what I want to do with this and where I want this to go because it actually worked when I had no I had no preconception that it was actually going to work like if I had just gotten my coffee for free I would have been happy but it's turned into a lot more than that <laughs> I was the same way. Well, we were told like early on to sign our spouses and just have like the spouse account and then you build a spouse account. And so I kind of tricked my husband. <laughs> he thinks that he asked me to sign me up, but, or to sign him up, but like I had already signed him up. It's fine. Um, but it's been huge because every time that I promote, he's one promotion behind me. So I'm just building mm -hmm. him every single time, which is, a, is what you've done too. Um, okay. So what is a, one or however many things, whatever you think is the most important things that you've been able to do because of the business? Okay. The thing that's probably means the most to me is like I said, I signed up Tom underneath me, but then I signed my dad up under Tom and I work my dad's business as well. So my dad literally just doesn't do anything, but he gets a paycheck. And so my parents were never, we were not financially well off growing up. We weren't poor, but we were probably lower middle class. Like we, we um, qualified for like assisted lunches or free lunches at school and stuff like that. But my parents never made me do that because they were worried about, you know, 
what how I would be treated because of that so my parents worked really hard to give us everything that we had but my parents aren't great with money and so my dad has no retirement or anything like this and so once I um once I figured out that this really works and that like I'm capable of doing it and I am ca- I, I enjoy it, um, I was able to sign up. My dad said that he, um, I mean, his check's not huge right now by any means, but eventually it will be, and it'll be a safety net for him. And so that's something that I've been able to do for my family that means the most to me. But as far as like paycheck wise uh, in September, my husband and I, I was able to make him take a week off and we went away for the first time um being together for eight years we're a blended family we have six kids all together so we've never like just been by ourselves ever like we didn't go anywhere once we got married we spent 35 dollars to get our marriage certificate and that was my wedding um and so we were able to go away for a week and i was able to pay for it and he couldn't say no because i was paying for it so that was that was fun um i because we're in a quarantine starting in March and stuff like that. And um, my Easton is three and he loves parks and everything here in Cincinnati shut down, like the zoo shut down, the other places that we went shut down and had memberships too. And so my automatic thought was like, well, I want to get a playground in our backyard because he's, I don't know how long this is going to happen. And I don't have any, he can't go to the park. And so um, they were sold out everywhere. So I was able to pay for one to get handmade by the Mennonite community down the road from us we're in Kentucky so they're down the road from us and so I was able to pay for it to get one handmade and delivered and installed and everything through that with this business so that was exciting for me too we've been able to pay off several of our credit cards which is super exciting and then now we plan on as long as corona goes with corona gets under control we plan on going away for a month-long vacation in june like we plan on going away the whole month of june we're going to go back home to drop off our dog because i don't want to take my dog on a month-long vacation we're gonna drop my dog off at my mom's house and then we're gonna go out to south dakota his stepmom lives 10 minutes from mount rushmore we're gonna do all that stuff there and then we're gonna go rent an rv and we're gonna go up to the national glacier national park down to Yellowstone down the Grand Canyon and then back like we're gonna go for a whole the whole month of June that is the plan and I'll be able to pay for it slowly from our business so that's exciting I think incredible like I think the one like people come in and they they come in for like you know a little bit of money which I think most of us right even me I came in for like my student loan paycheck was like $450 a month so that's why I started but it's incredible when you really get to work and we're going to talk about that in a minute, what you can really do with this in a year, right? Most people start up a business and pay thousands and thousands of dollars and they don't even see a profit their first one, two, three years. And like, we are, we're doing crazy things with this, but it's not because it like fell in your lap and you'll talk about that in a second, but it's because you're putting the work in. And so like, mm-hmm. all, I just want people to see all of these things that you've been able to do in your first nine months, <laughs> you've only been in yeah. nine months, you know? Um, so just so huge and how you're dreaming even bigger by, you know, having that idea to go in June, like having something that far out. Um, that's important too, because it's important to always have something that you're going for and going towards and having goals and things like that. So I absolutely love that. Okay. Um, so I want, I, I don't know if I explained this right to you, but I basically wanted you to talk about kind of like when you jumped in how you kind of got going Did this fall like did did everyone just like flock to your website like did it was just just like super easy where you just like had people signing up left and right um or did you have to actually like put the work in build your network do all the things and and how did you make that happen so no it's not been easy um and there is and I know that it can look really easy like if like especially like on our team pages and people that are signing and it can look like oh god she's signing it she just signs it's so easy like I understand that it can be like that but it really isn't like for me I just after after that first paycheck when I knew what was possible I was Lori and I had a conversation about like where do I want this to go and I was like well we are a blended family and if I'm completely honest we pay a mortgage worth in child support so if I can replace that 
our life will change forever. And she was like, okay, well, you're going to do that by the end of like, you know, cause so that was a first, that was my first goal. And then I was able to hit that too. And kind of going back on what you said, you know, to be able to plan for June, like I know that I can make that happen in June, even if I were just to stick at what my paychecks were today and they won't stick cause they will continue to go up like they do every single month. But um, the reason why I would say that it's not easy or let me think how, how did it, how, how do I do it? I do it because I do absolutely everything that Lori tells me to do. Um, I follow Lori. I follow some of the other main leaders on the page and, um, you know, I ask questions and, or I will go to trainings or I will do self-development and then I implement it. So if, you know, if we're doing a training on a distributor training, I am taking notes and I'm doing, I'm, I'm listening and then I'm getting off of that and I'm going and implementing it. And like, so we did things like the host to post. We do, you know, the five things that make you, you and make sure that you're posting about those every, those are the things that you're posting. You make sure to have a product post every day. You make sure to have a, you know, um, a distributor post or like a dream, a dream post or oppor opportunity post is what I'm thinking. That was what I was trying to think of the word. Um, you make sure you have an opportunity post today. And then we just live our life out loud on our Facebook and Instagram. And then the real big thing is host a post. And so I jumped on that. Um, I was actually kind of slow to host a post. And here's a fun fact for Michaela too, is like, I didn't get my shopping spree because I didn't get six customers the, in my first 30 days. I am yellow, but a whole lot of green. And um, I was really slow. Like Lori knew that if she threw everything at me at once, that I was gonna just be, I was gonna be swamped and I was gonna drown. And so she didn't do that. She took it really slow. And so then I plugged in, I plugged in on power hours. I plugged in anywhere I could to learn um, how to, do the things right and so then once I found host to post I just showed up and I just did it every single day and I built my network from I have 300 people to now I have 5,000 and so um I just continually do it like host to post Give, it gives me anxiety, but like not bad anxiety. Like it's just like this moving machine. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like at the casino when you crank the machine and the dials are going and going and going. It's just a game and it's a numbers game and it just continues to go and go and go. And it, you don't ever feel like you're caught up on it. And once I realized that that's how you're supposed to feel about it, that you won't ever be caught up. Um, then that helped settle some of my anxiety about it, but I was just really consistent. And so I've really gone after everything that Lori has told me to do. And then some, so like if, when I first started host to post, she was like, try to get five up a day. So I did 10, like when on our KPIs, it says reach out or send 20 messages. So I send 50, like it, I always just try to do more because like for me, if, if this is what's going to get me success, then I need to do a little bit more so I can get it faster. And that that's just kind of who I am. If you give me a roadmap, if you give me a box to check, I'll check it. And if you tell me you need to do A, B, and C, and you will get this, I'll do E, F, and G too, just to try to get to A, B, and C faster, if that makes sense. Like I always just do a little bit more. Um, just kind of like, I'm not... I'm not one to be competitive with anybody else. Like, of course I notice when other people are signing or when they're really signing quickly. And like, if I'm in a slow spot and I'm not signing so quickly, um, there's a mindset check there, but really I'm in competition with myself and only myself. I really just want to beat myself. And I don't know if other people are like that. That's just how I am. Because for me personally in this business, like I have, I have beat myself and what I thought I was capable of over and over and over again. And I continually just, I continually just raise my own bar higher to be able to move forward. If that makes sense. Are you I there? Love it. I, can't do I love there it. Yeah, I'm here. I know it like moved everyone around. Zoom is just being weird. Um, 
Okay. So I just, I think that people, first of all, comparison is a real thing and everyone does it, right? Like everyone does it. I think at some point, and of course, like looking over and being like, oh, that person's another person, that person, of course, like you're going to look at it. But I try to let that fuel me and be like, well, if Michaela can sign this many people this month, then why can't I do it? And I try to look at it that way always. Um, It took a while for me to get there, but I try to look at it like that. And I love what you said about how you you saw like, okay, this is what's going to bring me success, but I want success faster. So Mm -hmm. I want success faster. I'm just going to do more of the things that people are telling me to do. Um, Because I think most people kind of just, they see other people, they see the end result. They always see the end result, right? But they don't see the work. They don't see Michaela like sitting there all day long, like all day long, but you know, like putting in that work of Mm -hmm. messaging 50 people a day and doing the host to post and not, I was going to ask you, I almost wrote down like how many, uh, how many people did you start with on Facebook? So I was curious, but you said it. And so you start with what, 300 people. That's about how many I I started with too. And you grew it, right? Well, yeah. And that was a huge thing for me too. And Lori can attest to that because I have a background of domestic violence, like a domestic abuse. I was in a really abusive relationship for 10 years. And then my kids were sexually abused. So I was like Fort Knox locked down no one that I did not know had access to my Facebook and it was huge Lori's just like you can either live that way or you can take the leap and put them in God's hands because they've always been in God's hands and let's run and so I was like damn it okay let's run (laughs) you know and so and I did and it's fine and everything's been fine um so yeah it's just a matter of stretching out and taking that leap and and doing doing the things that you're told and so I I read something in my book this morning my self-development book that I'm reading I'm reading that I do boundaries by Havila Covington I actually sent it to Lori today and she talks about she talks about life in general but I think that it can go to this business too she talks about how her she's got four boys her and her husband she's got four boys and they're on vacation, they went to this go-kart place and they all jumped in their go-karts and they are like going, 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 racing and racing, racing. And her youngest son, he is just not pushing on the gas pedal hard enough. And he is just like freaking out and they're all like going around the ring and they're like yelling, push on the gas pedal, you're fine, push on the gas pedal. And he just, he never, he never got it. He never got to pedal to the metal to get himself out there. And when they got off the ride, he just like burst out sobbing like that's not fair you guys had better cars than me and she used that to be like first of all they're all they knew that that wasn't true they all had identical cars and I think that that can pour into our business as well Is like because it's so easy to watch people that are signing or watch people that move quickly and be like it's no fair because they've got something that I don't that I don't have And that's simply just not true. You're just not knowing how to push on the gas because we all have what it takes to live in abundance. We all have to take what it takes to show up for ourselves and to break whatever barriers that we have. Um, We absolutely have everything inside of us that we need to be successful. Um, And let's be honest, it's easier to complain that our gas pedal doesn't work right? Because it puts the, it puts the um, responsibility on something or someone else. Um, When it's really, it's really, um, we all have the same thing. And it's just a matter of whatever we have to work on self-development wise to, um, to make it click within ourselves that first we just, we do deserve it and we're worth it. um, And that we can do anything that Lori can do or anything that anybody can do you know for me like Lori's been in this for nine years and I would love to be where Lori is and that is great and I love Lori but like in nine years my babies are going to be grown you know she's been in nine years and her babies aren't grown yet I mean some of them are Kale's almost Kale's giant but you know Maddie my Maddie is 11 and so that's why I do Lori tell me what to do and then I'm going to do a little bit more because I want it faster because I don't want to have all my dreams come true, but my kids to be grown. Like I want to be able to them to experience it while they're still here with me. So. I love your analogies. <laughs> that was so good. It's so true. Like I, I think that, and it's like, what, like that iceberg, I always think of like that iceberg 
photograph or whatever where like you only see that the top part of it but there's like this whole part underneath that like you don't even see so people just kind of see the outside and, and it's easy to to put that I don't know like you said like that accountability like not have that accountability but once you can claim that accountability for yourself it, it it like changes the game because then it's like okay well did I get my my 50 messages out you know uh, if, if you're <laughs> Lori challenged us all to do 50 messages this month so like did I get my 50 messages out this today did I do my host to post today did I put my posts up today like the checklist is there so it's not like we don't we shouldn't know what to do like we all have the same checklist we're all doing the same things it's just but Kayla's doing more so she's seeing the faster enrollments because she's doing more right and what's awesome is because you're talking to so many people I think that we forget this is a residual income right and how whatever you put in now you might not even see like all of the benefit of it now it might be months from now so maybe Michaela reaches out to 50 people every single day this month right and in three months from now 50 of those however many she reached out to this month actually signed because she's reached out to so many this month, you know, cause she's planted the seed with so many. I just think that's so important to realize like the work that we do now, we don't always see that quick result. And I think like in this world of everything is fast, right? Like microwaves are fast. You can go get fast food. Our phones are so fast. Everything is so quick that we expect that we just jump in and like something magical is just going to happen like quickly. But if you ask any business owner out there, it's not, that's not it. And if you want a lasting foundation, right, a strong foundation, then you have to put that work in and you have to have the patience to, to go with it, which not everyone has. But anyway, um, thank you. All that was amazing. Okay. So I asked you, do you ever get frustrated with the business mm -hmm. and what do you do to overcome those feelings and keep moving on rather than letting it bring you down and defeat you? Oh uh, yeah, everybody does. Right. And so I am, um, I very rarely will go vent my feelings to people. Um, I get frustrated. Do I ever get frustrated with the business? I would probably say that I get frustrated with myself more because if something is not happening in the business, I 100% know whose fault it is. It's mine. And so then I get frustrated with myself. So um, yeah, like even just yesterday, I messaged Lori because there was a girl that I have talked to for six months, like on a weekly basis with host to post that signed with another girl that does everything wrong. <laughs> like that is also new. And it's like, you know, and I was just like, what in the world? But at the end of the day, it's just another number. So yeah, I get frustrated. Yeah, I have, I have, um, you know, I had a super huge boom in like July, June, July, and August, where I think I signed like 45 customers in, in that amount of time or more. And, you know, I had a huge boom at the beginning of October where I signed, I think seven or nine distributors in a couple weeks time. And so I have those huge booms but then i have these like i've messaged 50 people or more every day of december and have i signed a single one no i haven't so there are those moments where you are like oh my gosh what is wrong with me so for me when i'm starting to have those feelings sometimes i'll reach out to lori but if i'm not if i don't reach out to lori if i'm having those feelings to me that's an instant check that i need to self-develop more whether it's for me it's i need to spend time in god's word more or i need to pick up a bible study and pour into myself somewhere else more or um to change my mindset um or like i will if i am feeling discouraged i'm like let's go see if jackie posted a video that i can watch or if jackie posted something that she like that facing the giants video with him crawling across the football like that was not even nice that you posted that because i was like bawling my eyes out but then you just you just take a minute if you need to freak out you freak out and then you get your butt back in here because remember i said i'm in competition with myself and really only myself so um and when i am frustrated nine times out of the ten it's because I have slacked off somewhere where I, and I know, I know that I've slacked off somewhere. So I just have to figure out inside of me, 
why I'm slacking off. Because I promise you, if I'm slacking off somewhere inside of my business, I'm also slacking off somewhere outside of my business. And it has something to do with a mind, soul, spirit issue inside of me that I need to figure out. And so that is how I deal with that stuff. It's okay. Be sad for a minute, but don't sit there. Get up and then continue to go because it really is, it really is just a numbers game. Um, do I don't really get frustrated or sad with no's, um, like, you know, for reaching out for opportunity. If they are a no, I just can move on. I don't really get that rejection um, aspect of it because it's just, I know it's not for everybody. So I am, I'm okay with the no's. I actually prefer the no's. I don't like the people that like, sit on a fence and don't really give you an answer and you have to continue and continue to remember to follow up because again I'm talking to hundreds of people it's hard to remember to follow up all the time does that make sense and so um I do get discouraged but then if I do I self-reflect to figure out why I'm feeling those things and work on whatever that reason is because nine times out of 10, it doesn't have anything to do with the business. Yep. I agree. And I think it's important for everyone to know that like, it's normal to be frustrated. If you weren't frustrated, that means that you don't have the passion enough to want this to work. Right. Like if you were just like, eh, it's not working. Who cares? Like whatever, then like, you're not excited enough for this. So it's normal to be frustrated, right? Like, like, like Michaela I've reached out to 50 people every single day this month and none of them have signed yet. Right. So like most people would be frustrated at that, but I just, we know that it's a numbers game. Like we just get it. We get that thing. Like it's just a numbers game. And all the people that I'm messaging now, um, like they're going to, they're going to be signing like months from now. Right. But we're just, we're just going to talk to so many people that it's just going to be like an abundance of, of enrollments coming in. Um, so it's okay to be frustrated. You know, I honestly used to get really upset at nose. Like I just was that person. I didn't like, I didn't like when people like, didn't, I don't know, didn't, uh, agree not agree with me, but I don't know, like when people did, I, I don't know, something about like wanting to be like fit in and all that stuff that was just like who I was. And so it's normal to be frustrated at different things. I, even like Stephanie and Joel Don, number one incomers, I'm sure get frustrated y'all. Like oh, It's yeah. just normal, you know? Um, and just know that you're not alone. It's completely normal. But like Michaela said, she, rather than sitting in it and just being like, meh, 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 she's like, okay, how do I fix it? right? Like, how do I, how do I fix it? Is it me? Is it my mindset? Maybe I need to go do some more belief or am I doing enough for the business? Sometimes for like newbies, I kind of ask them, okay, so a, are you doing the daily checklist, right? Like, are you getting most of that stuff done? Because most people will do the posting and they won't do the messaging and follow-up and mm -hmm. you're going to get the enrollments in your inbox, when you're in your inbox messaging, that's when the enrollments come through, not posting and waiting. So I kind of just like walk it through with them. I know we're gonna have a lot of newbies watching. So I just figured like talk about this, but like, you know, kind of just like walking them through like what's going on. Um, and then sometimes it could be their wording or whatever. And sometimes it's like, you just haven't talked to enough people, you know, like not everyone's going to say yes. And some days when you message those 50 people, do you get like most no's, like a ton of no's? Like, I feel like some days that happens to me where I like, I'll just it, random days. I'll just get like, everyone will say no. And I'm just like, oh gosh, like, you know, and that can be, that can totally be frustrating, but that's just, that's just the numbers of it. Right. So, yeah, I actually prefer that. I haven't gotten, I guess, because I've done 50 a day, I guess I, I would get most, I get most ghosted. I don't get most no's. Um, and so I get a lot of interest, a lot of, well, after the first of the year. So I'm writing those people down, obviously. Um, but I get a lot of people that already have their side hustles too. And so that's fun. Um, um, and then, you know, far and few between, I get some of the nasties and you're just like, why? be so mean because you're dealing with your own stuff and that's why you're so hateful like and so you just gotta not let it you, you like the I am rubber you are glue whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you type thing like I've got a lot of little kids and I was kids pastor so there's that um 
but I mean, you just gotta let it bounce. Like it's not reflecting off of you, especially if you're doing the things, especially if you are being a light on social media, especially if you are being your encouraging self, you know, you know, if you're, if you're posting a bunch of crap and sucking people in your suck hole because you're a black hole, I mean, that's one thing, then people are going to be nasty to you. But like, if you are, you are spreading joy and you're staying neutral on scary topics right now you know and being encouraging and being a light and being lovely people are not going to be mean to you the people that are mean to you are the ones that have issues most of the time they are not going to be mean to you they're just going to ghost you uh so it's just there's no reason to take that kind of stuff personally um especially i find it now if it was people i knew that'd be different Remember, I have 300 people that I know on my Facebook. I don't know any of these other people. And so if they're going to be nasty, they're just not my kind of people. And I'm totally okay with not being everybody's cup of tea. Like I, I some, some days y'all, I'm not my own cup of tea. So like if some people have an issue with my bubbliness, I mean, my own kids have an issue with my bubbliness sometimes. Like we get it. That's fine. We don't have to be friends, but there you will draw um, you will draw your people to you as long as you stay consistent you can't just go off the radar <laughs> and then hop back on three days a week and expect to have that community um, I have probably about 50 women on my page now that I do not know personally but that I would consider my community because they literally check in with me or comment on all of my stuff like that I have just built relationship through social media. Now, obviously my hope is that one day they would join me, but there are people that have found me and I'm their type of person, you know? And so, and you will, for the new people, you will have that too, as long as you continue to grow to your, add to your network. You're just kind of like constantly filtering people out. Like the people are there are saying no and are nasty. You're going to delete them and block if needed, if they don't you first, if they do you first. And I'm like, thank you. You know, but if other than that, you're just going to start filtering Easton. You got to go downstairs with daddy because I'm on a meeting. You can see here. Otherwise, you just have to start filtering through like you have you have a 5000 limit on Facebook. So you need to get yeah, you got to drink my collagen. Um, you need to get through those 5000 people as fast as you can so you can start deleting and filtering back in. Um, because you have a limited number and that's why my 50 a day, you know, I'm a numbers person. Well, how long is that going to take me? And then I'm going to have to filter back through, um, you know, to follow up or ask again. And if they're still an old, then they're going to be going so that I can put people that need this in. And that's just how I do it. I can't, it's constantly a filtering system. Yeah, it's I love it. absolutely it, nothing personal. Absolutely nothing personal. Like it's completely a filtering position. I believe that we have, we have a gift from God and the ability to give these people something that they can take and run and make whatever dreams they have come true. And it's completely up to them. It's we have we have a vehicle. We have an absolute vehicle that someone can sit in and change their life if they want to. And I think that it is beyond like, it's not even an option not to, sh not to filter and share it with people. If you share it with people and they don't want it, then they can get out the vehicle. If they want it, they're going to run with you, but it's not an option it's just to sit on your 5,000 and hope that eventually those people will come with you. You have to constantly be filtering in through. I want to reflect for a second on what you just said, because I feel like people, you can't motivate anyone. You can only inspire people, but I see the people that really run with it. There's a reason why they're running with it. Right. And of course they have a why or whatever, but what you just said, that belief is, is why things aren't bothering you because you genuinely believe that we have a vehicle that we can help people have whatever dreams they come through. That's exactly what she just said, okay? And so she believes that, which is why she's not afraid to tell people about it because she knows what this can do. And she's only been in this for nine months, you guys. So it's not like, you know, she's seen like years of, of people coming through, but I remember having that exact same feeling when I first started. And that's kind of what flipped the script for me personally for not being afraid to talk to people is I was just like, why would I be afraid 
to tell people about an opportunity where they could literally change their entire life. And when you have that mindset, then you just run and you just tell everyone and you're not afraid to tell anyone. You're not afraid of what they're going to say because it doesn't matter, right? It's, it's, it's not on you. It's on them. All you're doing is just informing them of this opportunity. Um, I just think that's so important because people are like, how do I, how do I motivate myself? How do I do this? So you just have to have that belief, that belief that you're going to just help these people. It doesn't matter where you're at, right? You could sign someone and they could go ambassador in a year. Like how much would that change their life? Um, so thank you for that. That was amazing. Okay. Um, last thing, top three, if you have three tips for being successful with this. Um, show up for yourself every day. Stay consistent. Uh, you know, with hosted posts, stay consistent, stay consistent with your pull. First of all, okay, hold on. First of all, figure out what your why is and figure out why I really like we did a zoom was it Sunday night where we did like the seven layers deep I was folding laundry but I was doing it in my head but like I I like how to figure out your why and what you want um I think that that's really important because if you don't if you don't have goals if you don't write them down if you don't have something to move forward to you're just a sitting duck right that's in anything like you can't pay off all your credit cards and your debt if you don't write down your balances and how much you're paying off every month you're just a sitting duck and so I think you need to come up with your why I think you need to plug in and stay close to the fire and do your host of posts and show up for yourself um, and I think that you need to give yourself grace on the days that you don't um, I think that you don't need to give yourself too much grace where then you're sitting on your butt, not doing anything, but I think you need to give yourself grace and not, um, beat yourself up entirely. I think there's times to run. I think there's times to quiet yourself and figure out what you're supposed to be learning in this moment. I think, um, I think really diving in to self-development and getting to know yourself as a person inside this business and outside this business will take you and move you in more ways than a paycheck will. Because I think obviously our paychecks are really nice, but when you can get to know yourself like on a deeper level and why you tick and why you, why you reflect or why you react or why it hurts so bad when somebody says no or why you're so scared to do this, when you can peel away those layers and figure out why inside, where that comes from and what it's connected to and work on that and fix that. So in constantly involve yourself and make yourself into a better version of you if you can be in competition with yourself and only yourself to make yourself better I think the host of posts and showing up for yourself is completely next to nothing after you get to know who you are not who people think you are not who your mom says you are not who even your husband says you are um but who god says you are and who you think you are. get to know yourself so when you're feeling off you're automatically instead of being like well this sucks i'm in a bad mood i just suck at this i can't enroll anybody i don't have any customers like as soon as that starts happening you can be like my mindset is off why is it off and then figure it out and fix it so then you can go back and bulldoze whatever you need to um because it really is all it's up to us like god gave you the opportunity now you got to do something with it because he I think you were probably on that theme that I talked about before. Like, I love the analogy that um, people in the church pray for God to like make these tables, like praying and making these tables or making these chairs and they pray and pray and pray their whole life um, for tables and chairs. We pray our whole life for God to fill our bank account, right? Who does that? I know that my parents did that when I was younger, you know, um, but God doesn't make tables and chairs. He makes trees. And then we make the tables or chairs. And I feel the same way about this vehicle that we have. Like we can pray all day long that God blesses our bank account, but he's put this stuff in our lap that we can run with it and make and fill our own bank account. God's not a banker, you know? Um, so I think when you can, I think that when you can really get to know yourself and what makes you tick, what makes you groove and tweak that to where you're actually showing up for yourself every day, it knocks everything out.
That was like one of my favorite analogies that you ever said. And I remember that every day that you said that about how God doesn't make tables and chairs. He makes the trees and you have to make it. Like, I love you, Michaela. Um, wow. Well, this was amazing. Thank you so incredibly much. Something that I just want to say really quick that I thought was interesting when I just asked you, you know, what are your top three tips to be successful with this? Most people will probably think that you would have given like, a script or something you know what I mean like something physical like grow your network the things that we normally do and what you just talked about was better yourself find out why yeah. why you are the way you are what's your why it's all about us and I think that's something that I love about our team because I know like Lori has said that from from the top right because we're all under her um just that Yes, we get paid to sign distributors and customers. Of course we do. But we as a team, like our team anyway, do so much more. I am such a different person. And I'm sure that you've grown into a different person even in nine months. Like I'm such a different person than I was back six and a half years ago when I started. And that's one of the most incredible things that this company has given me. Yes, the money is amazing. And yes, all the things I've been able to do are amazing, but becoming a better person and the person that I always thought I could be that I didn't think that I could ever be like <laughs> that I wanted to be, but I didn't think I could be. That's mm -hmm. like the biggest thing that this has given me. And it's because I did exactly what you just said is like, keep digging, keep digging, constantly digging, digging, digging. Why are you so upset that someone's telling you no? Why there's, it's not because of the no, it's because of something else. So you, when you can figure that out, then nothing will bother you. And you'll just be able to go, go, go. You crank out those 50 messages. And when they tell you whatever they tell you, it doesn't even matter what they tell you. You're just gonna be like, okay, cool. Yes, cool. Here's some information. No, cool, cool. Ghost me, cool. It doesn't matter right? You're not going to care. And you're just going to run and just do all the things and be excited every single day because, because of what's in here and in, in here, you know? So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This was amazing. I, I, I definitely, I definitely to add to that. Like, and I think that's one of the reasons why I don't care about people being rude or getting nose and stuff like that, because I am with the background that I shared that I have, um, I am very much a freedom fighter and I have fought very hard to be free. And um, freedom is more than financial, but this is just an aspect. I can teach these people how to become financially free, but if they're on my page, they're learning how to become free in every single way possible um, because I've walked it. And so if I can link arms with them and, and teach them how to be free um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, um, all those ways and to break away all those things that hold, especially women captive, like fear and anger and shame and all of that. If I can, they're on my page, they're learning that because that's my passion. And then I can also teach them how to become financially free because especially like I look at my little girl, like if she can be financially free, she will never have to be in a situation where I was, where I couldn't afford to take care of myself. So I settled for something I shouldn't have. And so I think that we just have a really great opportunity um, to not only show people that they can be financially free, but they can also believe in themselves again and that yeah. they are capable of doing it. So. And I think because you talk about that and because we as a team try to get people to talk about the inspirational part of it, like lifting others up and just constantly that that's the background message that should be in all of our posts or our thoughts is lifting other people up that sets us apart you guys I don't think you realize like I don't always realize because I'm always in this right I'm always in the fire like talking to all the people I'm like isn't that just normal everyone's just happy and positive because I'm always talking to the people that are happy and positive but it's not the norm most people aren't this way. And so when Michaela's out there talking about how fulfilled she is and how excited she is and how much things are changing because she's changing them, she's inspiring people. And that's, it's different. It's different from what's on the rest of their feed is what she's talking about. And so then that puts her in a different category and she's being seen more, right? She's standing out from the crowd in a, such a good way. And so I just, that's like always something that's in the back of my head is like, how can I inspire people more, be more positive because you're just going to stand out more and inspire them. And then they're going to want to join your team. Cause why wouldn't they want to be a part of this with you? Right. So um, it's just like all ties together. So. I absolutely it's believe that. Cause I know what it feels like to drown. I know what it feels like to feel like you're drowning. So the first thing you have to do is put your own life preserver on. And then you spend the rest of your life pulling out other people that are drowning and showing them how to do the same thing. Yep. Love it.
We love you. <laughs> this was amazing. All right. Well, I recorded it. I know some people who couldn't get on. I'm sorry to everyone else that couldn't get on. Um, and I will be posting it. Any any last any last words? Any last thing you want to say? I didn't even look at the chat because on my phone I can't. That's what see I was everything. looking through right now. <laughs> see if I didn't see if anybody asked me any questions. It's so different when we're on here. Michaela will be a top earner with it works within the next year. Anything else that I think that I've said everything. I mean, I just, I just really, um, is this easy? No. Is anything worth it ever easy? No. And so, um, I just want everybody to know that they are, they were made for this. There's nothing that anybody that I have that none of you do don't have. I mean, everybody has the same maker model. We all have the same car. We just have to figure out how to push the gas, gas pedal faster. Um, we're the drivers. Um, we're not, you know, everybody has what they need to do. It would just be, um, just do your best and give yourself grace. Um, and just be a continual learner, learn, 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 and then apply. Don't just sit and read books, apply what you're learning. Um, and then just shine bright and don't let anybody dim your light because I know that that was something that was really hard for me at first is like, I've got all this inside of me, you know? And like, if my mom was on here, there's no way in the hell I'd be able to say any of it. Like, I would be like, oh yeah, my mom's here. You know what I mean? Like you've got all this inside of you. You just have to get to the point where it just, it's bubbling up so much. Just let it out because the people that don't want it, they're going to go and you didn't need them anyway. But the people that need it will latch on to you and you will show them how to do the same thing. And so just work on yourself enough to be able to get it and to where it just you can't help it i don't know just don't let anybody dim your light just like the this little line of mine <laughs> i won't sing it but i, <laughs> I love that song yeah. all right well this is amazing thank you so so much i'll let everyone jump off um but y'all just remember like this is the time where we put all of the work in because all the work you do now is just going to pour into first quarter and trust me you're gonna thank me you'll thank me. So let's just and ramp it up. First quarter, so I'm excited. I it's came amazing. in at the end of first quarter. And if you feel like, you know, you need help or whatever, or things aren't going the way that you want them to go, then reach out and ask for help. Like for sure. Like, don't just sit there by yourself and be like, ah. like reach out and ask, ask on the team pages, ask for upline, whoever you need to ask. Right. Um, because that's what this is all about. You should, I still ask questions. So you should still be asking <laughs> and getting help and constructive criticism and then taking that. And like Michaela said, applying it. So, um, all right, friends. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for trying to get in. And it was like a craziness to try to get in the Zoom today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you went the extra mile by being here. <laughs> All right, friends. We will see you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.